what is this hair doing oh my god we're just gonna pull the baby hairs down they're gonna have their own little moment <laughs> hello everybody i am filming today a video that i thought would be a good idea mainly because i had the same question so i was packing to go to college which is where i am right now that's where i'm filming today um yeah so if i talk kind of a little quiet because my roommates or my neighbors might have something to say if I'm screaming super loud. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to do a video based on the makeup that I took to college. I'm doing this video because when I was preparing, like packing to go to college, I was looking up videos about this because I have a, a not a huge, but like a relatively large makeup collection at home and I didn't want to bring absolutely everything. That would just be one, a hassle and annoying, and two, a lot of it's expensive like high-end makeup because I love high-end makeup and it's not like Dior or anything like not luxury brands but it is high-end brand I brought really like minimal stuff like I know it's still kind of a lot like I filled up this whole acrylic organizer with stuff but um for me that's minimal and it's just stuff that I can easily use and that I love and I didn't discover it until the beginning of this year this is the Merle Norman lip revive this smooths out every line in your lips it makes liquid lipstick just glide on it does feel a little weird it is like in a white tube so i don't know if the camera can even pick it up because it's it's white you can kind of see it there it's kind of hard to read it though but i mean it is in a white tube so the lights are kind of contrasting it a little bit but it is just like a little squeezy tube it has a flat top and i love this i think the cleaning lady's out in the hall so she's probably like, girl, you are talking to yourself. And I'm just like, mm, yeah. The only primer I brought with me is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is just a little sample. I got the beginning of the year. Can you see it? You kind of can. I don't even think you can read it. This primer is all over the internet. So if you want to know about it, just Google it. I think it's award winning. I don't use this primer a whole, whole lot. I prefer the e.l.f. one. That's It feels the exact same. I think it's like their mineral infused primer or something like that. I love that one because it's like the exact same as this but way cheaper and I love Smashbox. My favorite mascara, high-end mascara is by Smashbox. My favorite eyeliner ever is by, my, by Smashbox. But I really like this primer and I brought it to, with me to college because I knew it was reliable. So I do like it. I just don't think I'd buy the big one because I prefer the e.l.f. one and it's way cheaper. Way cheaper. Right, I have two foundations here they are both drugstore the first one is so light coverage it's like you're not even wearing anything just like a sunscreen this is the elf foundation serum this has spf 25 in it and it looks like this you can't really see it but you can <laughs> it comes with a little pump it's just a plastic container it's not the best packaging ever but this product is really nice it sets itself so you don't have to set it which is super super convenient especially for somebody like me who has dry skin I, I don't want to put powder all over my face I do it sometimes but I prefer just to leave it um, this is super super light coverage and you can reapply it throughout the day it's really nice because it has SPF in it and it doesn't cake up because it's such it's a serum so but it does feel really nice on the skin it doesn't enhance pores it doesn't enhance texture it doesn't it does cover up like a little bit of redness but not much like if you're a full glam person i would not recommend this i love full coverage foundation like that i love it it's the best thing ever but this is just something i use if i'm in a hurry or i just want to put something on or i'm gonna be outside next is one of my favorite drugstore foundations ever this is the maybelline fit me dewy and smooth in the shade 110 porcelain i have repurchased this twice now and you can see this bottle is very loved i have dry skin and this looks amazing i love it with a makeup sponge i have not ever i haven't ever used a beauty blender so i can't tell you how it works with that but i love it with a real technique sponge and the only thing i don't like about it is it doesn't come with a pump so that's kind of frustrating but i do love it i think it's just amazing i feel like i could apply it the whole bottle and never look cakey on me so and it does have a dewy finish i love dewy foundations i think they're just beautiful now 
a, another foundation, but a powder. It's a powder foundation. This is the Maybelline Dream Wonder powder in the shade Light Ivory, number three. Looks like this. I kind of have to go up here because the light like washes it out down here. <laughs> yeah, this is a really nice powder foundation, and I don't typically use these because, like I said, I have dry skin, and that's kind of a bad swatch, but I'm not meaning to flip you off, I promise. <laughs> it feels like velvet. It doesn't cling to dry patches if you use, like, if you don't like cake your brush, it won't cling to dry patches, you know. Right, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Duce, Dolce de Leche. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. This is what it looks like right at her. This is actually my second one of these. I have another one at home because I really like this product. I can contour with this, but it is a little bit too warm. I can do it, but I prefer something a little bit cooler. But I do really like it. I really like the cream shade which looks white it's not here if i could tilt it like this you can tell it's a cream color um this is like the size of my face it's ginormous i think it's like five bucks so i mean it's amazing and it's super pigmented like super pigmented and if i put it on my hand super pigments yet and it does blend out super super easy like you can like this obviously matches my skin tone so it doesn't really show up blends out super super well it is very pigmented so you do kind of have to be careful because if you are like packing it on it will like at least on me because i'm such a fair skin tone but if you have a deeper skin tone like a medium skin tone you may like this they do have a darker one i think it's called like toffee caramel toffee i'm not sure exactly what it's called i'm too fair for it but i know that they have at least two shades they probably need to make more but for five bucks you really can't go wrong with this palette and if you're looking for a good drugstore option i would recommend i brought two blushes with me because i couldn't decide which one these are both by revlon these are both revlon powder blushes i love the revlon powder brush powder brush powder blushes they are uh, my thing i have another one of these at home this one is what i'm wearing today this is oh baby pink and it just goes with everything i feel like swatching blushes is absolutely pointless there you go you can kind of see it up there um because I feel like they still show up. I love blushes that have pigment. It's on this finger. That aren't too pigmented. So, like, you can't even see it. But it is there. And it gives a nice... These are matte. But they give, like, a sheen to your face. Like, they're so weird. These are a little bit more of an expensive product from the drugstore. I feel like Revlon just is in general. It's kind of like L'Oreal. Um, but I would recommend this. And they have a ton of colors i'm not entirely sure how many colors they have but they have a ton of colors marvelous i think it's a mauve color this was the only blush i literally had in my collection for the longest time like no joke and you can see it right there and it is darker than the other one it's right there and these blend out so easy and they last a decent long time on me i don't really have a problem with them being patchy I do only have three of them, but I feel like three is a decent number to try out a product and formula, and they are three all different colors. So, I mean, they are two completely different colors, <laughs> but I do really like this. This is the e.l.f. baked eyeshadow, and the label's been bent off. Hang on. Toasted. I used to have a whole bunch of these, and this is the only one I kept. It looks darker on camera than it actually is. I think it's the gray wall contrasting it. But, um, yeah, it is right there, and it is amazing, like, look at that pigment. And this shadow, I think, was, like, a buck, maybe three. I have no idea. It was super inexpensive, and I love it. Like, it's just perfect. I like to put it all over my lid, blend it up into the crease with maybe my finger if I'm in, like, a really big hurry, and just go, like... Is a perfect go to. Same with the Milani Bella Eyes Gel Powder Eyeshadow in Bella Sand. It's just a nice sand color and it is broken. You see it, it is broken. I did break it, but these Bella Eyes powder, Gel Powder Eyeshadows, first off, they feel really weird and I love it. And they are amazing. Like, look at this. Do you see that? They have amazing color payoff. And not only do they have a bunch of neutrals, it's right there. You can't like hardly see it. Um, not only do they have a bunch of neutrals, they have a bunch of color ones. They have a Bella Cobalt. I think it's a Cobalt Blue, and it is, it is beautiful. I'm obsessed. 
And this is Bella Chiffon. It's from the same line from Milani and it's really light. And I use this as a highlighter whenever I travel or anything because it's so small. And look at that, like look at it. It is, ooh, girl, yes. Two more eyeshadows to talk about. This is the LA Colors Eyeshadow Palette in Blushing Nude. This I literally got for a buck at, I think, Dollar General. And it's really good quality. I mean, it's not like Too Faced or Urban Decay or Anastasia Beverly Hills, but it is really, really nice for it out really well. They have decent pigmentation. They last a decent amount of time, too. And I feel like if you pair them with the right eyeshadow primer, they'll last even longer. The next one is the Lorac Pro Pocket Pro 2 eyeshadow palette. But this, I think, is like $12 at Kohl's. So... It's not too expensive, but these shadows, if you have never touched a, a Lorac Pro eyeshadow, you need to touch it. I bought the Pro 2, like the big one, just because of this little bitty palette right here. And Rosé, this color right here, is everything. Like, I will barely touch it. And look at the color payoff. Like, it's just look at it like it is just beautiful now I do have the big one and I will say this the purple I think it's called plum has problems blending out but most purples do but all the other shades I love especially the shimmery ones they are amazing I think there's like a green called jade and I'm just absolutely obsessed with it this is the Maybelline Master Drama Eyeliner in Midnight Master this is just a black eyeliner and it's just a nice black eyeliner. My favorite black eyeliner is the Smashbox Always Sharp Coal Liner in um, Raven. That's my favorite whenever it stays, like, do anything, I swear. This eyeliner is my favorite one from the drugstore. But if you are in the hunt for a high-end one, I get the Smashbox one over this any day. I actually forgot to talk about a concealer, so I'll talk about that in a second. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This mascara is amazing. I love the uh, L'Oreal Lash Paradise as well. This is the wand. I typically like wands like this. Like the curved and the spiky. This is like more of a watery formula, I think. So if you don't like watery uh, mascaras, you won't like this at all. But I really like this. And it makes my lashes look amazing. I'm wearing it today. And you guys are probably like, oh, your lashes don't look amazing. But I didn't put a whole lot on. I just kind of like lightly went through and just kind of barely touched my lashes with it. So you can really build this. The Hard Candy All Glossed Up Hydrating Lip Stain. And this is in the shade Tickled Pink. It's really cute because it's like a little crayon. And it you twist it up and it'll sharpen. <laughs> but um, I love this just like throw it on and go I would swatch it but it, it literally has like barely any pigment but I love wearing today this is the Maybelline Baby Lips and Cherry Me does anybody else remember when baby lips were like all the rage like everybody had them and you had to have them this is just a red one and I love it perfect for on the go I used to keep this in my backpack I don't anymore but I used to this is the LA Colors lipstick in Sorbet now this did come from Dollar Tree, so the packaging is not the best. But the lipstick, the product itself, it is frosty, which I don't really love frost lipstick. I used to, but I don't anymore. I'm trying to find where I haven't put, like, product on my hand. <laughs> right here. I don't anymore, but it's just a perfect everyday color, if you see that. And it's really creamy and pigmented, so... Um, don't bash the Dollar Tree. Sometimes the products are not any good, but sometimes they are really good. I just like to see what they have sometimes and just pick it up because it's like a buck. And I mean, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And I only lost a dollar. But sometimes I find really good stuff like that and I'm really surprised. This is the Burt's Bees Tulip Tide Lipstick. First off, I love the packaging. I love Burt's Bees and this color. It's not one I wear very often, but I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's wrapped there. It's kind of pulling more lavender on the screen, but um it's like it's like a light purpley pink. That is all the makeup I took with me to college. I hope this kind of helped you guys. I don't know if it did or not, but I kind of hope it did because when I was 
packing to go. I couldn't really find uh, any video about this that I really, really liked that was super helpful for me. So I figured I might as well. When I was packing, I just used less is more and products that weren't super, super expensive because if it went missing or somebody stole it or like the building caught on fire or something like that, I was thinking about that because I didn't want to bring like my $60 Too Faced eyeshadow probably here and it get broken or something because it's limited edition first off and secondly, I'd be heartbroken. So I took stuff that is super affordable and stuff that I can easily replace in case it goes missing or in case I drop it and it breaks because the floor in here is concrete. So it could easily get broken. So I hope this is helpful. Please subscribe and I will have all my social media down below and as long as well as all the products mentioned and I will see you next time. Bye. And my chest looks like really, really like white and I think it's because I'm wearing a white shirt and it's contrasting with the lights. So bear with me on that. I have to leave in like 20 minutes. So we need to get rolling.